And so when you get a ton of everything on a burger, it's going to be saucy, slobbery, hard to hold in your hands, spilling over, abundant, juicy, tasty, and just plain satisfying. Like the way a burger is supposed to be. And that's triple O's. And here it is, like with a giant arrow pointing to it to this day. Triple O's, sauciest, juiciest, tastiest, bestest, savoriest, creamiest, softest. And those buns are abnormally soft. You're like, is this for real? I'm like, how did they come up with this? The buns are like squishy. You're just like, <laughs> and you're just like, did I even feel that thing on my teeth as they pass through? You're just like, it's like the invisible, like sacred bun. Anyways, just, um, <laughs> even that said, they copyrighted that sentence. The sauciest, you know, folks, I'm falling in love with marketing people, by the way, and people that come up with this stuff, I just want to kiss them. I'm like, you guys are hilarious. The sauciest, juiciest, tastiest, bestest burgers around. What genius woke up in the middle of the night with that epiphany on his mind? Some kind of prophet. I need to shake the man's hand or the woman's hand, whoever it is. The sauciest, juiciest, tastiest, bestest burgers around. I want to kiss that person. I want to like shake their hands and say, how did you come up with that stroke of genius? Were you struck by lightning while walking through a field in the presence of God? You know, just like, what, what happened? <laughs> um, the sauciest, juiciest, this is trademark. And then there's the people at the trademark and patent office that have to take these phone calls. You know, what did you say, man? You wanted to trademark the sauciest, juiciest, tastiest, bestest burgers around? All right, you just made my week, ma'am. I mean, that is just plain cool. It's like the sauciest, juiciest, tastiest, bestest burgers around. Trademark. I'm like, oh, just another day in the life of the trademark and patent office. You know, weird people phoning in, weird, weird things that are actually ordained, and it's all very entertaining. Um, Triple O's by White Spot. I'm officially in love with this chain at this point, um, and its products, um, and of course the people. Um, you know, folks, did you know that angels are staring at burgers and saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, the whole earth is filled with his glory. Because <laughs> God is the master chef who created all the people that came up with this and designed our taste buds to love this stuff. Woo, okay. So, what else do we want to... That, that was one of my favorites, though. The signature dill pickle adds perfectly to 240 AAA times 10. You're just like, I need the signature dill pickle. Or else my day will not be as good as it could have been. Get me that triple O right now. You know, the kids are like, I've had enough of this. You know, <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Sorry, I need to take a break from McDonald's. Give me that signature dill pickle and satisfy my soul. Um, okay. Um. <laughs> the signature dill pickle. And folks, this is... I, I, go, I, I am just in love with this. The sig so they need to add the word the in front of that. The signature dill pickle needs to be <laughs> promoted from the house tops. <laughs> There's no other sandwich on planet Earth that I know that drapes a signature dill pickle over the top of the burger. Oh, that's that's pure genius and love. Okay, so um, that is a definite favorite. Um, oh my goodness. Um, oh my goodness. The largest text on this tray. Uh, placer divides by three. What legends are made of? That whole text divides by three. I'm not joking. <laughs> legends divides by three. <laughs> all this R divides by three, and then all the rest of you know, divides by three. Three words divide by three, and then what is together with made? And so, what legends are made of divides by three. You're going to want to sprint down to your local triple O's and say, satisfy my soul with the biggest things you've got. Okay. Um, <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> okay, um, what legends are made of? 
Okay, so the signature double pickle. Okay, and then look, even the straws. And I, I'm not joking, folks. I, I brought home three of these things. Even their straws are intelligently designed because they write triple O's three times and even spacing on their straws. Is that fitting in the camera? There it is. So here's a single triple O straws. Well, they wrote triple O's three times. And the word straw divides by three. <laughs> You're just like, there it is. Um, and so, but they wrote it three times. And of course, the colors basically are white plus green, white plus green divides by three. White is 65, green is 49. That adds to 114, which is the same value as um, we saw a recent 114. Oh, signature, yeah. Um, but they wrote it three times, as you should. Anything you do in threes will be blessed. Like, because God loves the number three, three glorifies his triune nature. All intelligent design is done in threes. So I'm telling you, this is what we call a piece of intelligent design. This straw says triple O's three times in perfect spacing to the glory of eternity. Triple O's, triple O's, triple O's, and of course triple O's divides by three. Genius. And so, what did I do? I brought home three of these straws to make a video with. One, two, three. For your personal happiness, because you just look at three straws and you get happy. You're like, perfect, he's got three of them. I, I, <laughs> you're just like, perfect, he's got three of them. Now I want one. See that? And that's, that's also what you call intelligent presentation of items in a store. Always have at least three items in stock. Ideally, face items in threes. You know how you can face things on shelves? Like cereal boxes, cans, jars, whatever. Do them in threes. Exactly in threes. Three blocks of cheddar of one brand facing the customer. Three blocks of the next brand. Threes, 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 threes. Do everything in your business in threes. Everything. Fill your universe with threes. Because <laughs> that's what God has already done. Well, just do what God likes doing. God likes threes infin infinitely because he's three people. So there you go, triple O's. So I hold in my hand nine triple O's on three straws to the glory of eternity. And of course, when you say three straws, that divides by three because straw divides by three. And then three plus an S divides by three. So three of anything that divides by three will always divide by three. So three trees divides by three, three straws divides by three, and um, three persons divides by three. God is three persons. Um, and then, of course, when you crack these babies open, they are nice green straws because the colors are green plus white. And green plus white, again, is a divine color combination. Think of trees on a snowy day, um, or green grass and snow, or mint, mint. Green plus white divides by three. It's a divine color combination. It's very eye-pleasing, green plus white, if this would focus because I need to. There, green plus white divides by three. Um, it equals 114. Okay. Green plus white. That's also the colors of triple O's. Um, so I brought those home to preach on. And uh, this one also hit me like a truck. Here's a gem from French for you. This is the French uh, version of iodized salt, cell iode. Well, look at the love in there. 24 for SE, 12 on top of that, and then 9 plus 15 plus 9 in the rest. So you got 24 plus 24 plus another 21 is uh, 69. Oh yeah, it equals Jehovah. So by divine ordinance in French, you're looking at letters that equal Jehovah, which is of course O wrapped in love. With so many threes pairwise, it's not even funny. You've got three letters that divide by three, the other two pairs make multiples of three, E, D, and E, S, 24, nine respectively. There, it's like, so every pack of salt is like giving glory to Jehovah. That's in French. Now the English doesn't divide by three, but it all knit together with all sorts of other things like salt and pepper and you name it. It's just you're entering into the symphony of God in multiple languages now. Um, okay. Um, and then I really love the milkshake, uh, you know, suck, suck the straw, every word divides by three. And just, I just, you know, triple O's. It's, every word occurs. It's just like three heaven. Um, and then what by white spot? White spot three. Okay. So, um, that's nearing the end of our Triple O's story here. Uh, we solved a lot. Did I, did I mention everything that was on here? Yeah, the dill pickle was awesome. Um, I, I just want to throw into the, the computer the full text Triple O's by white spot. Just, just to um, make sure we exhausted that one. Uh, so here we go. We're going uh, 
triple O's by white spot adds in total to, wow, 276. 12 times the ninth prime, lovely three in there. And then if you just say triple O is white spot, and that's three times 83. 83 is the 23rd prime, which is in turn the ninth prime. And there's a lot of artistic effects in there, the hopscotch effect, knitting it together to make multiples of three. Okay. Um, beautiful. And uh, remember, white spot is love plus love plus half a love in nine letters, chain links, you know, triply chain links. We, we talked about that. Amazing. And uh, triple O is, uh, is exactly uh, how many points less? 21 points less. Amazing. So, okay, uh, that's pretty good on the triple O's story. Um, and then, of course, uh, every worker or employee there divides by three personally. Okay, what else? Okay, I want to, uh, that was, that's it from the, the, the gems that I wrote down to share on. Uh, you can go find more of your own. Um, but uh, the other awesome gem I wanted to preach on was the, um, this is awesome, the girl that I got a haircut from at Great Clips the other day. Uh, her name is Carly, spelt with a K. And as soon as I looked at it, I loved it instantly. Look at how beautiful it is for number three. And um, you have the opportunity to name your children mathematically, stunningly. God is sovereign, so you don't need to fear whatever has happened was by his ordinance. Your name knits together with all sorts of other people's names to divide by three. God revealed to me that my first name knits together with all of my three brothers to divide by three. And my best friend growing up, we divide by three. And I had another best friend, John, divides by three. Me and Spencer, and his, God is just revealing to me how it's all part of his love plan. Uh, but look at the name Carly. It's so beautiful. The, the, it adds to 72. Can you find love like in Carly? Of course you can. It's like... <laughs> Can't find love in Carly? Who can you find love in? <laughs> KY divides by three. The two vowels, AE, divides by three. And then the two center letters both divide by three individually. It's such a beautiful name, spelled with a K there. And then um, as to 72, a triple of triple eight. So if you pop off the R, which is 18, you're left with love. Okay? KA, 12, EY, 30, L, 54. Like it's just such a beautiful name in six letters, Carly. And uh, she was the one that gave me this amazing haircut that. Uh, and then this was where I uh, got the gem, keep the change, because I gave her $15 off of this. There was a coupon thing that made it like, you know, half price, $8.99. So I gave her $15. And then so she kept this $5.55, which screams out the number three perfectly as a tip. And uh, Carly, Carly, <laughs> 72. So that was an obvious gem there. So what am I going to do for a haircut for as long, you know, as I live here in Langley? Well. I'm probably going to make sure I go see Carly every single time because God is speaking to me about intimacy and familiarity. That it's more pleasurable to be regular and in a love relationship with less people than more people. And the, the proof of this is God creating Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. God said, you two guys be maximally intimate with each other and that's the best. Okay, Not a ton of shallow friends. Not dumb touch and go relationships says no. You two guys be maximally intimate together, and that's where your satisfaction will be. Okay. Now you can extrapolate that truth to the simple concept of have less friends that are far more intimate and be frequent. So, for example, if I, like I, I could go to a haircut any number of places in town, okay, and I could visit and I could meet someone new every single time. You know, I could, I could, and then I could have the same shallow conversational talk with the new people every single time. That's fine. I mean, God can lead you to do that. God will lead you. The whole point is personal relationship with God. Don't, you know, don't run off after this and say, that guy says I have to go to the same hairdresser every single time for the rest of my life. It's like, no, no, no. But what God is speaking to me is there is pleasure in intimacy. And there's pleasure in familiarity. And, and Carly did an amazing job with my hair. I should go back to her every single time, <laughs> you know, and then you develop a more satisfying relationship. It's called friendship. You get to know each other more and there's more satisfaction in deep knowledge of people. I'm just, this is what God has been speaking to me about. It's like, and then love is actually required. 
Love is required to maintain lasting relationships. You can't maintain a lasting relationship without ongoing giving, mutual giving. But it's rewarding. That's where the satisfaction is. And so, like, I'm going to go back to Carly for my haircuts as long as I live here, most likely, unless God leads me otherwise, because um, she did a fantastic job. And, um, you know, why should I go to someone else if she did a fantastic job and she, you know, then gets to know your hair? And it's like, then as you frequent that place, you get to know each other more. And there's even more pleasure in the relationship. Because now you feel comfortable sharing various parts of yourself with the person, sharing, you know, things. And it becomes, people are looking for faithfulness. People are looking for real people. And how, how do you prove that you're a real person? Well, by consistent, frequent <laughs> consistency of who you are. Like, you know, just every time, every time that guy comes in, you know, every time we get together, you know, every time that guy comes in, he's friendly, he's, he's happy, he cares about me, it's just like, just love, just be yourself, you know. But it's like, and stick with people. Like, I'm preaching to myself here. Like, this is what God's speaking about. Like, and the truth is, again, Adam and Eve, intimacy. Another word for intimacy is familiarity, stick to itiveness, loyalty, consistency, committed, regular. Okay? And share life together at a deeper level. You know? And that's where your satisfaction will be, because that's what God said with Adam and Eve. God didn't create Adam with a bunch of friends that would be shallow. He didn't create Eve with a bunch of friends that would be shallow. No, he created Adam and Eve and say, deep. You two be deep. And that's perfection. Okay? So... What's, what's my message from this whole story? Well, Carly did a great job of my haircut. It's close by. Unless God strongly leads me otherwise, which he can do so, I should specifically go back to Carly at Great Clips regularly and call ahead to make an appointment when she is there and have a regular haircut with her, okay? So that there is familiarity. There is, you know, consistency. I just, at least that's, that's, that's what I'm thinking about all this. Um, and uh, because we really do love a familiar face. You gotta be honest with yourself. And there's no problem with that. There's nothing wrong with that. When you go to a party and there's a bunch of strangers, you don't want to have a bunch of... You, you really don't. You don't actually want to have a bunch of shallow conversations with people that you're never going to see again. You want to use that time to have an in-depth, satisfying conversation with someone that you know is going to be in your life in the future. You know? And that's why we do gravitate to people at social events and parties that we're familiar with. And we know they're going to be in our lives forever. Like, if, if I'm at some social scene, like maybe a church social scene, and I see one of my brothers there, like my biological brother, a family member, I'm going to go and, you know, experience the whole event together with them. Because biological family. We're going to stick with each other for the rest of our lives. If you can't make amends and be in love with the biological family that God ordained you to have, then that's, that's the first step I would recommend, that you start healing in your relational life. Like, you know, and then, but familiarity is pleasure for us. You know, and now they're just coming out with studies. Oh, lo and behold, that familiarity blossoms love and blossoms attractiveness. Gee, who invented that concept? God, <laughs> when he said Adam plus Eve and no one else. What does that mean? He says, you guys are going to be familiar with each other. Oh yeah, you're going to be regular. <laughs> you're going to be familiar. 
you're going to see each other a lot. Okay? So, I, I'm loving this. So it's like, Everyone is made in the image of God. Keep going back to the same people. Like, I'm preaching to myself. Stick with, like, as God leads, stick with people, you know, and go deeper. And go in love. So, you know, get the same haircut. The same hair, if you, if you love the hairdresser, stick with them. Stick with them. Be consistent. You know, ah, oh, man, I'm just, faithfulness, loyalty, and, you know, What else did I want to preach on? Um, that was awesome. <laughs> the triple O's gems were just plain awesome. But, um, yeah, it was an awesome day. Um, and what else? I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with, with all that. Man, God is good. I'm probably going to take a break. God is awesome. That divides by three as well. <laughs>